You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a guest who actually doesn't really need any introduction, but I'll introduce him anyway. Jacob Tagger. Good it's to nice see you. Nice to see you, sir. Um, doing something good for the community. Always You've been trying. doing that a long time. Been a volunteer coach. You're still coaching to this day. Yes, sir. Um, but you've kind of shifted the focus over to a beautiful park in the city of Champions, James Edgar Park. Yes, sir. And there's an event Saturday the 13th of this year. Yeah. Um, something for everybody. Tell us about it. So we have a neighborhood association over there, Edgar Park Neighborhood Association. Um, and, you know, through, through our, our volunteer work, cleaning up, you know, going to different parks and everything, um, you know, myself and some other volunteers of our cleanup crew um, built relationship with the neighbors over there. Um, John Hayes is a Brenda over there. You know, just neighbors, part of the Edgar Park Neighborhood Association who just love their neighborhood. And they, you know, they're out there every day cleaning up the trash in the park, hosting different events for kids. Um, the, you know, this, this group of people, Edgar Park Neighborhood Association, volunteers all over the city today were just in Campello mm -hmm. planting flowers. Um, but that park, you know, I, I fell in love with that park a couple of years ago, um, you know, when they did the, the Tony Hawk grant. The major renovations. Yeah, when they did the renovations over there. Um, it's just a gorgeous park. Um, and, and, you know, I've seen a couple of pretty, pretty large events there. And, uh, you know, they, last year they, they, you know, the city had a movie night um, in that park. And it was a great event. But for whatever reasons, it didn't get included this year. Um, and it was brought up to, um, you know, they were, like I said, they're doing, you know, the, the picnic in the daytime. It's an all day family event. And then later on in the night, you know, they're, we're hosting a, a movie night. So and picnics 12 to 6. Yes. And then it's going to get dark to have a movie. Well, let's say 1130 to 6 because, you know, people like to show up late. Okay. Let's say 1130 to okay, 6. Okay, well, we'll be back it up. Time. So, yeah, it'll, so it'll, it'll, it'll be on regular time, right? Yeah. Um, bring your picnic lunches, join meeting neighbors, different businesses, and it's, it, it's kind of Edgar Park over the years. I lived in the neighborhood briefly, yeah. and it was always kind of a citywide gathering place. The Legion Post plays baseball there. Um, Rocky Marciano's, you know, one of the homesteads is there. Uh, Dover Street, Winthrop Street, that whole area over there, but they have they have like a water park now. They have yeah, a little splash pad. They, yeah. they, they um, Rotary, which I was part of, we, we built, we didn't actually get to build it, we paid to build it, but there's a handicapped playground over there, yeah. which is nice to have. Um, they have the skate park. Skate park, um, there's it's basketball. Like futsal, futsal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a nice park, it's a nice place. We were there for the dedication. If I can find the footage, we might throw it in on top of this, but we'll see. But you got a whole bunch of groups all working together. I'm looking at this, it's Brockton Arts, it's, it's great, it's... It, Dare, it's, you got businesses, Italian kitchens, you got Stacey Adams, Cultural Arts, Brockton Interfaith, All Rhymes Entertainment, right? Well, I'm glad you had the flag because I was going to forget. Well, you know, I, I figured, you know, we, we have it hanging there. We, yeah. we put it on the channel so people know about it. It's on the, the actual real bulletin board in the lobby, okay? <laughs> and uh, um, you got Tory and Associates yeah. as a sponsor, you got 21st Century. I said Brockton Arts, the Edgar Park Neighborhood Association, and Stacy Adams, which is down the street. That was an old, kind of decrepit old factory building that Brockton Arts and all the artists have turned into an area, and they're going to do a festival the end of August. Yeah, I don't uh, even August. know the, the number, 33 but it's on Dover. Dover. 33 and, Dover. And what, one yep. and a half? Yep. It's, yeah. I lived right around the corner there, and you didn't go near that building. Now you can go near that building because it's, it's artists. Oh, I was it's, in the other day, well, last week for a meeting. It's amazing. It's an incredible building, incredible. So what's the movie? <sighs> we had an online poll because we wanted the community to be involved mm -hmm. in, in deciding. Um, and I will say, I think the best movie that will be shown this year in Brockton Which outdoors is? will be The Goonies. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, The Goonies uh, will be shown. Um, you we'll know. give a shout out to Larry Boyd and The Hub. Of course. Because that's where the poll was. Oh, we right. did it in several places, but of oh, course okay. The Hub has the, okay. the largest audience. Um, but yeah. we had it in several different sites. And Goonies was a landslide. You know, I made a, a, a friendly bet with the, the president of the Edgar Park Neighborhood Association that Goonies would win, and it destroyed it. See, my movie wouldn't be considered a family movie. It, 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 the greatest movie of all time was Animal House. I don't know about that. It was made for no money. John Belushi, 
Dan Aykroyd. It, it's kind of like the, what's the other one? The what? Frat House movie. You're talking about like American but Pie? But they made it for nothing. They made it for like $20,000 and it was a cult classic. I used to work at the movie theater. So I saw Which that. One? Westgate. When we had Westgate? a movie theater. Okay. I snuck and, in six times to see okay. E.T. there. Okay. I saw, I the saw every movie in pieces. And I didn't piece them all together, but I could actually write a book, Life According to Animal House. I actually lived in a frat house one summer down at University of Miami. It was quite the experience. Now, of course, the frat brothers weren't there. They just rented it out for the summer. But try to live in Miami in the summer with no air conditioning. What year was Animal House? Huh? What year was that? It was uh, the 70s. It, oh, it was 70, right around the time I graduated, 78 or 79. It was, See, I always I think forget it was I thought you graduated in like 88. No, I was no, born no, in 76. No. So. I know. There you go. I know. That's okay. I'm showing my age. I, I'm, I'm qualified for a, a, a adult uh, 55 or over living this summer. That's yeah, my birthday. I'm looking older than you, young man. But um, this is a good thing. And, oh, I forgot. Lady, CJ, Soul Food and Catering. Catering, yeah. They're popular. What's the Cool Kids Project? Cool Kids. I want to say Lose La Boy oh, yeah, runs yeah. that program. Okay. Um, she does painting and other different activities with the young people. What I want to say about the movie night, yeah. So like I said, it, it got left out of you know the plans for movie night this year. So what I did is I contacted Ollie Spears, yeah. Um, and you know, he got me the information to get the equipment and the licensing, and then I reached out to the DA, Plymouth County DA's office, mm -hmm. and you know I said, hey, listen, I need some money for a community event. Would you guys like to sponsor? They was more than willing okay. to to contribute. Um, I want to make sure I, I say thank you to Tom Monahan. You know, active ward council who's you know, just got out of the hospital with hip surgery. On the sidelines, probably won't see him there because he's, he's laid be out. He, he should be there. He'll find a way to get yeah, there. He, he better get there. Okay. Um, and then, of course, you know, Councilor at Large, Wynn Farwell, mm -hmm. who's working with George's Cafe, making sure we have pizza at night. Mm -hmm. For We're looking at uh, looking at hopefully a couple hundred people um, just for the movie night and throughout the day. Hopefully we'll get a thousand people to enjoy that park. And because you're putting it on, it's not going to rain. No, it won't rain that day. I already okay. put in a, I, I okay. got connections, sir. Okay, do you need help with any volunteers or it's just come and enjoy? I want you to come and watch the movie. Okay. And you got to bring these guys with you, you know. Okay. I love coming down here. You guys are always great. Well, we're glad to help. And that's a busy day. After, after you on this show, we're going to have the great Ollie Spears and we're going to talk about the Police in the Streets tournament. Yeah, that's my son said he's going to. I got to tell Ollie, my son said his team's going to win it. Ernie Bell, you get a chance to dunk Ernie Bell. Now, Ernie Bell's a great guy. He's so I don't cousin. know why anybody would want to dunk him. I want to dunk him. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I like him. He was one of my father's students, and when he graduated from one of the programs he was in, he remembered my father, which was a very nice thing to do. And every time he sees me, he asks me about him. So that's, that's a good thing. So just to wrap it up, I got the, I got the high sign. It's Saturday, August 13th. Uh, picnic in the park, movies in the park, the picnic, uh, we'll back it up to 11.30 and say 6.30 or whatever. <laughs> and then we'll, the movies are as soon as it gets dark so you can watch The Goonies over there. And uh, um, you Best know, movie of all time. Okay, so thanks for doing what you're doing, Jacob. And Thank we'll have you. you back and we'll bring the, the folks that run the Edgar Park Association on another segment. And that one won't be dated. We'll just talk about the group. Well, I appreciate that. We're good. Thank you. Thanks for being on. It's my okay. pleasure. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.